It's not just any OP, it's something worth celebrating. Oh, okay. <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs>Everyone, Justin with Bob's Watches, and we're back for another episode of What's in the Box. I'm here with Brandon. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, happy to be here. I'm excited to see what's in the box. <laughs> well, welcome back. I'm sure we have something good. Yeah. Uh, before we get into it, should we do a wrist check? Yeah, Let's please. See what... I need to see. You want to see those ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Omega Seamaster Bullhead. Nice. Um, God, I love the bullheads. They're just so funky and, yeah. you know, they're cool. I like them. Yeah, I'm glad that Omega, like, did it, remade it. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. not too many bullheads on the market. Anymore. There's not. It's definitely something that catches your eye, so. Yeah, and yeah. they're surprisingly comfortable. They are really comfortable, right? It's a big watch, but the way they contour to your <laughs> wrist, I really enjoy. So, yeah, that's anyway. a cool one. Great choice. What do you got on today? A vintage Daytona, 6265. Another uh, great choice. Yeah, it's a nice one. It comes directly from the original owner, which is nice. It looks really so, clean, um, too. Yeah, I love these, and uh, the steel bezel is really growing on me. So uh, that's one that's actually grown on me too. Like I yeah. wasn't a fan, and now I absolutely am. Yeah, it's a little stealthier, I feel. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. all right. Well, let's get into it. Uh, as you know, we get tons of watches every single day. We never know what we're gonna see. Uh, we see a lot of really interesting stuff. So we're gonna open one up on camera, see what it is, and uh, hopefully it's something amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get into it. So Justin, are you gonna? Uh guess. What's you want me to take box? a guess at yeah, it? Okay, let you let take, take a, a little peek. Take though, a peek. But don't look at my facial expression. Okay. 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 Yeah. Is it a Rolex? No. no it's, yeah, it's <laughs> I'm on the right track. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, want to give me a hint? Is it a dress watch? Sport watch? I think it's a little mix. A little Hon mix? It's a mix, honestly. Is yeah. it a Milgauss? No. No, but I'll give you two <sighs> more Disappointing, guesses. I do <laughs> like a Milgauss. Um, I can give you a hint. It does okay. have a smooth bezel. It does have a smooth bezel. So that's the thing. Is it a day chest? No. Is it stainless? Yeah. Stainless. Is it an OP? Yeah. An OP? Yeah, it is. All right, let's see it. All right. It could be. It could be any OP. So exactly, that's, uh, yeah. let's let's see. All right, it. you guys ready? Yeah. It's not just any OP. It's something worth celebrating. Oh, okay. <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> Brand new, right? Just mm -hmm. this year, uh, 126000 Rolex Oyster Perpetual. This is the 36 millimeter? Yep, 36 mil. Um, and right off the bat, it's that dial, yeah, right? I, I mean, mean, of course. Oyster yeah. Perpetual is such a great watch. Uh, they came out in 2020. They had the kind of not really Stella reissues, but the Stella inspired right. with all the, you know, the bright colors, mm -hmm. um, which were such a hit, right? The yeah. Tiffany blue and the red and the green. Yeah, and they're all um, right here. And they're all represented <laughs> here. This is this is it. Yeah, so for 2023, they came out with the Celebration dial, mm -hmm. and it's kind of uh, a celebration of all the other OPs in the dials. And so those bubbles, I hear yeah. it often called, which they're really not they're bubbles, like they're dials. Or... Yeah, oh, um, whatever you want to call them, all the colored circles on the dial mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. are representative of the other OPs exactly. and the dial colors and the yeah. sizes. and um, So I think that's really fantastic. I love the idea about it. Um, when this one came out, I was uh, kind of up in the air about it. I really like the idea. I don't yeah. know if it's something that I could wear or pull off and I, yeah. I'm still kind of in the same boat. Can I yeah, see please. it? Yeah, go ahead. Um, but I do think it's a beautiful dial and I love the idea of it. I just think it's um, you know, when there's meaning, when there's things purposeful, and there's details of the watch that are clearly put there for a reason it's mm -hmm. thought out, um, it scores so many extra points with me, I just love it. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to see Rolex doing all this like stuff that's outside the box, but uh, yeah, I don't know if, I mean, I would wear it. I mean, I would take it for a spin. Yeah. But I don't know if it's gonna be my everyday. Um, it's fun. I just saw DJ Khaled somewhere in one. 31 okay. millimeter for a three year old, so that's cool. Okay, so well, it's good enough for him. <laughs> it's good enough for you too, huh? Um, yeah, it's not like my one watch collection, but um, yeah. you know, it, it is one that I would put on here and there, and yeah. you know, for the right occasion, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, anyway, it's cool. fantastic watch. We see so many interesting things. This is the second one of these we've seen, um, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited. I, I photographed the first one, um, turned out great. It's such an eye catcher that yeah. I'm really excited to see this one, so. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what like like what people think of this in like 20 years. Yeah, you know, or something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also curious how long Rolex is going to offer it for. Right. I could see it being short-lived. Um, yeah. We're not in quite into our predictions video yet. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned. That one will be coming up, depending on when you're watching this. Yeah. But uh, that is something that could happen. I could see this being just like a year or so, and they move on and do right. something else. Um, and if that's the case, then I'm sure the collectability, especially down the line, um, you know, well, that's something that will probably sure. shoot up. It's always those 
weird watches that aren't super popular and didn't last a whole long time, yep. they didn't make a ton of, that have a, you know, a very collectible resurgence it's true. decades later. Like the Paul Newman. Except. Like the Paul Newman, a perfect example. But anyway, fantastic watch. I'm really glad we got this one in today. Yeah, it's a good one. It's yeah. exciting. Well, all in all, great watch. Fun you guys, you guys watch. have heard what we think about it, but I want to know what you guys think about it. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think about the Celebration Dial Oyster Perpetual. And I also want to know, what is your favorite color on the dial? For Ooh. me, I think it's the yellow. The yellow? I like For the, the yellow. original colors? Yeah, I like the yellow. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, let us know. I think I'm going to go with the green. I like the green. Anyway, yeah, Brandon's right. Leave us a comment. What's your favorite color? Um, anyway, great watch, great show. Thank you for being here, Brandon. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Um, always fun to get to uh, cut open a box and see yeah, what's inside. Yeah, absolutely. Hot. And as always, this one will eventually end up on Bob's Watch's website. So keep checking new arrivals if you're interested in this watch or any fantastic luxury watch. So until next time, be well.